formation of a differential equation. Whenever we deal with the formation of differential equation, we need to find the derivatives of the given equation. And remember, number of arbitrary constants will be equal to the number of derivatives. If the initial equation is containing two arbitrary constants, then it will go up to second derivative. If the initial equation is containing three arbitrary constants, so remember you have to do derivatives three times that is the third order derivative. This is how we can form the differential equation. Whenever we form a differential equation, we need a differentiation. The derivatives which you have done in class 11th and 12th obviously. I am taking one equation for you y equals mx. Well, all of us we know that this is the equation of a line passing through a region with some slope and that some slope is m and this is crucial in the formation of differential equation. For me, m can be 2, for you, m can be root 3, for your friend it could be minus 1 by 7. So we call m an arbitrary constant. So in differential equation, our target is to remove the arbitrary constant. So what we do for that? We have one equation y is equal to mx and we differentiate it dy by dx that is m. Now from the equation above equation number 1 I can find the value of from 1 I can find the value of m which is y upon x and then I can put that in equation number 2. What happens? dy by dx turns to y upon x. Can you see that this equation is now containing dy by dx, dependent variable, independent variable and now it is free from arbitrary constant. So we can say that we have formed the differential equation. So this is the differential equation. So any equation containing derivatives, dependent or independent variables, but does not contain the arbitrary constants of the original equation, then that equation becomes the differential equation.